Now, there are intensifying calls for the Education Ministry to intervene in the deferment of some 6,000 students of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology over delays in payment of their fees. The Academic Board of KNUST deferred their programs over students for non-payment of academic user fees in line with the university's regulations. Some of the students were found to have used the funds for other things like betting, running, ride-hailing services and other ventures. But Deputy Ranking Member on the Education Committee, Dr. Clementa Park, says the Education Ministry should intervene while urging an audit into the numbers to know how many students truly cannot afford to pay these fees. Tells us that the advent of COVID has accentuated this inability to meet its obligations. Now, given that these students are likely the words of parents who are struggling to make ends meet, I would think that we need to be looking at alternatives that would allow them to continue their academic work while arrangements are made for them to pay the outstanding fees that they owe to their university. Now, these are some of the reasons why some of us are proposing that government drops this proposal to win off public tertiary institutions from the public. On this subject, the management of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology say they will relook at the deferment of the over 6,000 students over delays in paying their fees. The university's management says such uh, some of the students affected have stormed the banks to pay the fees hours after receiving the deferment notification. My colleague Ibrahim Abubakar is joining me with some updates. Ibrahim, uh, tell us uh, in what shape and form is management saying they're going to take a second look at this? Well, you know, the deadline has already elapsed, which is April 11 for um, students to regis register or risk being deferred. But now they've opened the window for whoever has the money to register before exams, which is in May. So now okay. what they are currently doing is that if you register um, even after the um, deadline, uh, then you will be considered a student. Then they will reverse the deferment um, uh, position that they've taken. Uh, this morning, for instance, when we went to speak to management, they told us from last night till this morning, over 400 of the students have gone to the various banks to pay the fees in full, not even the 70%. So they are hoping that Possibly by Friday or next week, um, a lot of a lot more of them will go to the banks and pay. But the condition still stands that if you are unable to pay the fees before exams, then they will have no option than to defer you. So for now, even if you you receive a letter of deferment and you have the money to go and pay, they will reconsider you as a student and allow you to uh, register and partake in the examination. Ibrahim Abubakar, my colleague in the Ashanti region there, thank you. We'll keep an eye on this development and also get some reactions from the Education Ministry, which is being called to intervene in this matter because in excess of 6,000 students having been deferred because of non-payment of fees, according to many education watchers, is a bone of contention.